Hey guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And uh, today I wanted to show you how to get NES ROMs on your iPod Touch iPhone or iPhone 3G. Now, I think the NES is like one of my favorite old systems because it has really great games. Um, and um, before I'd like to start, uh, I'd like to tell you to please subscribe um, uh, just to help me out and support me and well, just make me feel good. Please subscribe to me as well as comment and rate on my videos and if you're gonna rate please rate five stars um, because I really do my best and please read the video descriptions they have all the information in the video with full detailed instructions and I take my time on them so please read the video description right there to your right where it says read me click more info now you're gonna go into Cydia or IC and you're gonna go into the search and in the search bar, you're going to type in NES, NES, and you're going to scroll down all the way to the ends. And here is the NES emulator. Um, I think it comes with the BIOS and everything, so there's no BIOS that you need to install. Um, and then your, I actually um, forgot to tell you, you can install that. Then to get some games, you can SSH them in. You can go to a link I have in the description and SSH them in Medias, um, ROMs, um, and NES. You can SSH them in there from a website that I have in the description. I'm not going to really get into that. Or you can add the source, edit, add, and you're going to add this source right here, apt.123locker.com. I'll have that in the video description again, so please go read that. Um, and then when you're done, you're going to click done and add that source. Then go back into the search and make sure NES is searched. And then install NES ROMs package 1. Right now, that's all they have for NES packs, but they'll be out more soon. And in a couple of videos, I'll show you my rare ROM pack. Uh, not rare ROM pack, a rare ROM source that show, that um, lets you like have... Uh, it shows the actual games and you can choose which one. It doesn't just come in a package. If you like that, that'd be cool. That's cool. So in a couple videos, look out for that. Please subscribe so you'll know when that's out. And when you're done with that, um, go back to your home screen and you'll have the NES emulator that won't ha look like this. The icon will be different. Is because of my theme. You're going to open up the NES emulator and if it crashes, um, then Google that, so Google that, say NAS app crashing, just Google that, or, um, PM me and I'll try to, I'll, if I have the fix, I'll get it for you. Um, I think I have the fix, I know what it is, but, um, uh, yeah, so just, um, if it, if it does, uh, if there's a lot of, if I get a lot of PM saying that, um, that their NAS app is crashing, then I will do a video for it. Um, so the reason I have so many is because I'm an iFortner Elite member and they gave me their repo for Installer 4 and for Cydia and there it really is worth it. I'll be doing this, I'll be doing a video some down, um, somewhere down the road but um, really you should, if you're an Elite member at iFortnerForum.com it's really great. I have 900 NES apps right here so yeah you really should. So I'm going to scroll down and I like to play uh, Super Mario for my um, videos. So I'm going to go for the original one. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, right there. Um, you can click start new game. I'm going to put the camera down. And I'm going to... I don't have my speakers with me. But I'll put my earphones in and my volume full blast and maybe you'll be able to hear something All right, you can play it in a uh, landscape or you can play it in portrait I'm gonna play it in landscape cause I, I'm cool like that alright see my NES app just crashed so yeah it may crash Sorry about this, guys. It does crash if you don't do anything for some time or if you press too many buttons, it does crash. But then again, it's not, it's just an emulator. It's nothing too big. 
So if you want to play your games, HD games, then this is not for you. Alright, I'm going to play it in landscape because I like it better in landscape. Only thing is the buttons are faded in to the, uh... Faded into the display. Alright, it's the same controls as it would be for anything. I'm just running through this, but you can play it in detail. The graphics for the game weren't great anyways, originally. And you can't really see it, but Mario is right there. And this is the Nintendo NES game, so remember, the game can only get as good as the quality originally was. So, if this is the Nintendo NES game, the quality wasn't great even on the Nintendo NES, so you can't expect too much. Now, if you could get a PSP emulator, that'd be pretty cool, but I'm not even sh I'm not quite sure you can do that. I bet the 4PP3 team is working on it. Oh, I made it. It looks a little bit faded right now, it's like glaring, it, there's probably a slight glare, but it is, I can see it pretty well. The graphics actually aren't too bad, but uh, I think it's fun. You can't play it like all day. Okay, that's it guys, hopefully it won't crash for you, but um, this is iPod Touch for Life 165. Subscribe, rate, and comment, um, and I will see you guys later.